What happens when you try to fly from New Zealand to Sydney in a private jet? The trip pushes the absolute limits of our fuel tank. Will we make it? Or will we run out of fuel and plummet into the icy ocean? We're at the northernmost airport in New Zealand, Kaitaia. We arrived here in the last video from Auckland. We'll fly directly west across the Tasman to Sydney. Kaitaia is a very a rural area, only 5,000 people. And off we go. 90 and rotate. Positive rate of climb, gear up. Kaitaia was built around the Ahipara gum fields. And the gum fields were where the kauri trees, these big tall native trees, they had resin around their roots. And the diggers would dig for that and turn it into jewellery and use it for, for, for resins. Uh, it's not a business that exists anymore, uh, but the town was built around that. You can see both coasts of the top of New Zealand there, the Pacific Ocean in front of us, and near to us is the Tasman Sea between New Zealand and Australia. We've got real weather on for this flight, so those clear blue skies are exactly what it's like right now, and that time of day as well. It's uh, quarter to one in the afternoon. Beautiful day across the whole of New Zealand, actually. I'm in the South Island, and uh, we've got the same weather down here today. I don't know what it's like in Sydney. We'll find out. We'll find out in a couple of hours. But this, <laughs> you only have to watch about ten minutes. I'll, I'll cut out all the boring stuff in the middle. So it's perfectly still in the sky. We've got a headwind of about six knots. Um, as you can see on the map here, we're about halfway across. Uh, ground speed 282 knots, altitude 31,507. You can see our, our fuel um, down here is down to 51%. So going okay so far, but it's, it's gonna be close. We've got a low fuel warning now, but in the center of the screen, you can see the Australian coastline. We're coming up to it, but uh, down to 18% fuel. And like I say, we've got a fuel low warning, not great. Down to 25 gallons in each, in each tank. But it's in front of us. We've got uh, about 50 nautical miles to go. 46 nautical miles to go. On 29 April 1770, Bosney Bay was the site of James Cook's first landing of HMS Endeavour on the landmass of Australia, after his navigation of New Zealand. The first settlement at Sydney consisted of about 850 convicts and their marine guards and officers, led by Governor Arthur Phillip. They arrived in Bosney Bay in what they call the first fleet of nine transport ships and two small warships in 1788. Down to 12% fuel. Should be okay. Not far off now. 10 nautical miles to go. Descending a thousand feet per minute, 10 nautical miles to go. And we're at 3,300 feet. And we're at 12% fuel. I think we're gonna make it. Yes! It was helped by the lack of winds. We had a very light uh, headwind and perfect weather. Absolutely perfect weather. And this is real weather. It's not, uh, I haven't chosen this. Okay, I'm going to hand fly it in now. We're 
go into the second runway. Flaps on full. Beautiful sight. You can see Sydney in the distance there. Just going over, I think it's an oil refinery here. Or oil fuel tanks. Landing gear down. Little throttle. Really low fuel. Ay, ay, ay. Put them down there, then took them off again. Throttle off. Flare. Here we are in Sydney. That's Sydney Centre with the Centre Point Tower in the middle. And Bosney Bay behind us. Beautiful. So the next flight is going to be north up to Brisbane, past beautiful beaches.